My brothers and sisters, um, God be with you. God loves you. God made you in his own image. And so he cares so much about you. As long as you're a human being, you are so lucky. You're so fortunate. You are made in the image of the creator of the whole universe. The maker of all things. The life giver. The you know, eternal father. Who cares? There's no other love but him. As a matter of fact, it's hard for you to get anyone that say really they love you for real, for real. Eh? Without any, you know, disruptions or without any ulterior motive or any hidden agenda or any, you know, evil plot or evil plan or insincerity. But God is real. The Father, the God of all creation. So now, my brothers and sisters, please, it's, it's very, very crucial that you must do this. If you're really, really serious to go to heaven, for you are created to go to heaven. That's why you came into existence. You came, God brought you into existence for eternal joy, eternal glory. He is the true and everlasting God of all creation. And he brought his only begotten son, his Messiah, that came into this earth to come and give us his own life. Do you know what is giving life? Giving you life is everything. Everything from the top of your hair to the bottom of your feet is life. The son of God, you know, because again, the reason why people are not going to heaven is because they are not doing the right thing. Maybe you're calling the wrong thing, just like the Muslims. Muslims are calling Allah, Allah, Allah God. No, Allah is a demon. Muhammad dreamt in the cave, and this demon gave him a vision to go and do crusade to, to, to destroy the rebels, unbelievers, because he's a merchant. He was a merchant who traveled from the east to Jerusalem, and he became aware of the God of the Israelites. And he was not happy because these people of Israelites were not obeying this God that has been kind to them. He heard about their God. And so he was in the cave dreaming about, about this whole situation. And the demon took advantage of him. You see, the demon took advantage of him and he went on, a, on this crusade. And this Muslim religion became a, 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 a worldwide religion. And people think they are doing the right thing, but they are not. So in the case of Christianity, I know Chris, a lot of names we got was given to us in Greece, in Greece, in Athens. When the apostles were in, in, in Greece, that was the first place they called them the Christians, followers of Christ. They called them Christians, followers of Christ. They got that name in Greece, in Greece, Athens. Also, this name now, Jesus, might not be the right name. So in order to be safe, or to be on the safe side, my brothers and sisters, please do this. You have to mention the God of all creation who sent his only begotten son to come and save the human race. He was born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. He died and was buried. He resurrected on the third day. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He's coming again to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. Whenever you want to pray, say, the Son of God, the Messiah, please have mercy upon me. Help me. Pray for me. Father God, the God of all creation, show me mercy. Show me mercy. You have to be specific. Otherwise, the enemies of God will take advantage. You see, the enemies of God have their own Jesus. They have their own Jesus. So they have their own Virgin Mary. 
Otherwise, you will not make it to heaven. It is not good for you not to make it to heaven. See, I've been in the place where everybody wants to be. But in fact, to be honest with you, it has not been easy because the enemies of God are the enemies of man. Okay? Don't turn around and say, Satan loves you, or the devil, or this marine kingdom, or this occultic kingdom, or this underworld kingdom. No, they don't like you. They don't love you because you're made in the image of God. And they, are, they have lost their chance. You know, they have lost their own opportunity, and they want you to lose it. Let me tell you, I've been stranded. I've been in a place where people want to be, and I have been stranded. I don't want to be stranded again. When you die, you're not going to be stranded. Jesus, um, okay, not call, I'm not going to call Jesus anymore. I'm going to call the Son of God, the Messiah. The Son of God, the Messiah, the Savior of the whole world, will send his escort angel to come and receive you. If you don't have escort angel when you die, you're finished. Let me tell you, all these demons you're playing with, they're going to beat the hell out of you. They will beat the hell out of you. They will take you to dark places and torture and torture.